later for this one. No. You've just started. <laughs> <laughs> if you need, I'll read it for you. Okay? No, I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. After 35 years in broadcasting, my partner is retiring. And I can't begin to tell you how difficult this is for me. All week I've struggled to find the right words to express my feelings about this moment in time. You know, in many respects, Wendell, your retirement is leaving me speechless. Tonight marks the end of an era for us, and change is very difficult. After 22 years as an anchor team, we certainly have reached a milestone in our careers. And to say the least, these have been the best years of my life. You know, when I first came to Kansas City in April 1979, it's a long time ago, as a reporter, I never dreamed that three months later that I would be anchoring the 6 and 10 o'clock news with Wendell. And we've been an anchor team ever since. Yes, we have. And I tell you, we've even set some broadcast records as the longest running anchor team in the country. I'll never forget that first night sitting on the anchor desk with you, Wendell, 22 oh. years ago. I was as green as the Kentucky bluegrass, <laughs> but you took me under your wing, uh, and you have been uh -huh. such an incredible mentor to me, both personally and professionally. And the reason for that is because you stand for the integrity mm -hmm. and the respect that the media strives, uh -huh. absolutely strives to achieve, because Wendell is not only a true journalist, the Walter Cronkite of Kansas City. I've said that over and over and over again, and I truly mean that. But you are genuinely a wonderful person, a wonderful man, and you are my friend. Oh, and And he has the greatest heart, the largest heart of anyone I know. Through the years, you have gone way beyond the anchor desk, and you have touched the hearts and minds of Kansas Cityans and all of the people that you have worked with. <sighs> Yeah, that's, me. That's, that's a super tribute there. <laughs> well, we have lots of pictures that we uh -huh. want to share with our viewers right okay. now. This is when we first started. Yep. There's young Ann. And young and Wendell. Wendell. No. Yeah, the reason they said it is the cub and the veterans, the way they kind of build us at first. And you just grew and grew and grew into that role. Oh, and here is when we were interviewing uh, Tracy. Well, we were actually doing the Spirit Festival. Rest, yes, we were. And, and I think it was that year that uh, we were starting the 6 o'clock newscast mm -hmm. from a tent at the Spirit Festival, Liberty Mall, and our tent blew away when a thunderstorm hit right at 6 o'clock. And we actually became the news because That's all of right. our scripts just went right out the window, and we just talk about ad-libbing an entire newscast. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I remember that I was uh, about eight months pregnant with my first son, and we were doing a uh, my program. You're even thin when you're pregnant. <laughs> but look at that hair. She, she looked like a, a, a young lady with a volleyball. Oh, bless yeah. your heart. And this was an awesome moment yes. for us when we uh, uh, had the town, town hall, hall meeting, meeting with President Clinton yep. on health care reform. Yep, there he is, took his picture with us. And these kids. Oh, did they ever make broadcast history in Kansas oh, did City? They? The you Jabroni they twins, yes. We have followed them all the yes. way through there since they were born. The Jimbroni. What, quads? The Jimbroni quads. And there is my brother-in-law, yes. John Ferugia. A broadcaster our, in his own right, great right. investigative reporter. And he sends his very best, Wendell, Good. to you. Yeah. I tell you, every night before the 5 o'clock news, we have to let our viewers in on this. Yes, we do. Wendell has to always get, get everyone quiet so that he can listen to Final Jeopardy. And you know, Wendell is a trivia whiz, and he always gets the answer no, right. No, I don't always get it. Yes, you do. So we want to give you not. this, your I very do. own oh, Jeopardy game that oh, you good. can enjoy in your leisure. Yeah, that's great. That way I can look up the answers in advance, right? <laughs> that's right. That's great. Thank you, Anne. This is my old partner of 22 years. 22 years. And uh, my almost my entire anchoring career and and all of Anne's and that it's it's, it's going to be a tough team to break up you're the best Anne. you're the best and you i want to tell you something gold. i feel very blessed yeah. that god has brought us together for these 22 years mm -hmm. and although we're ending our broadcast career your legacy will live on and i will okay. cherish the memories that we have forever nice. and i'm just glad that we didn't set another record by going through more <laughs> kleenex in the newscast than ever before i know me you too you did a great job you held Thanks. up good so have you okay good night everyone we'll see you at six